Oh, oh, boy, oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. Chris Broussard, another moron. He yells just like this about nothing, about nothing. And here goes, comes a bunch of more nothing, proving that, of course, you haven't watched the Knicks all year, brother. We don't believe you, man. I don't believe you. Your red hair, none of that. Are you ready to say he's a superstar? Well, that's LeBron. Jalen Brunson, as you Love said from the numbers, was phenomenal. 35 and 9, 40 points the last three games, 41 and 12 in the closeout. But no. Oh, gee whiz. Slow down. <laughs> wow. Because because you wow. do have a postseason like this. Doesn't mean you're a superstar. Yeah, that's fair. Trey Young, Exhibit A. Oh, Trey, because he, here's Trey Young, mm -hmm. and here's the difference between Trey and Rick or Jalen. One of the <laughs> yes. One of the things. Yes. Was, one that's of the, the only one. He was good. We did it with three, three, three clowns up here. <laughs> Never knew who Rick Jay. Brunson was until Jalen. So come, you get what I'm saying? Lottery pick and come into the league and in short order, been a star. Can't then stand these dudes. a, a postseason like this may have made you say he's going to be a superstar. Yeah. But when you come in as a second-round pick, you spend four years as a role player. No one thinks you're going to be a star. I need to see more. It's similar to, quickly to Brock Purdy. Like, I, as much as I like Purdy, have I called him a superstar? No, no, just league MVP. Well, that's fine. But yeah. you could be that yeah. without being a superstar. Well, so We've seen it happen. And, and, and Jalen's an MVP. Candidate, also, candidate Isaiah Thomas, not the legend, yeah. the other one from Boston was an MVP candidate mm -hmm. one so year. I, so my point is this. He's got to do more. And I brought up Trey Young for this reason. Trey Young was a lottery pick. Trey Young was ballyhooed out of college. Trey Young did come right into the league and give you 19 and 9. And in his third season, the he went to the garden yep. and he lit it up like we were saying the same stuff. Reggie, it was Reggie Miller. He took on the garden fans. They were chanting expletives at him yep. and he shot him down. Man, then in the next round, he goes out and takes out Joel Embiid. Then he takes Giannis and the Bucks, who won the championship that year, to six games. And he averaged like 29 and 9 during that time. I ask you, is Trey Young a superstar? No, but if the next year he had followed it up with another good playoff run, he would have been. They've been to the, the Knicks. The, the Knicks. They went to the second round two right. years in a row. I'm, that's, no. I mean, I'm not going to – hold on. I'm not going to fall victim <laughs> – to the Madison Square so Garden, to let stop. me finish, oh, okay. or New York Knicks <laughs> let me pixie finish. dust. Everything that happens in New York pixie is dust. magnified. I and sure, the New York media, which is a lot of the national media from New York, they're going to make, oh, my gosh, I heard somebody to say today that I respect. He gonna end up. He might end up being the greatest Nick ever. Okay, Can well, we stop? Crazy. Well, that's, that's <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Leave him. Look at him. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> he's better him. than Clyde Frazier, <laughs> Patrick Ewing, and Willis Reed. Well, well, and he's not better than Mello yet. I agree. My like, those God. guys. No. All right. Oh, here we go with the cast of clowns. You heard it. I'm sorry you had to hear that. If your ears started bleeding, I apologize. But we're back. Look, I got brought old ball back in the mix. Got myself here. Here to smooth it out. Oh, boy, what do you think of Chris Broussard and his clown behavior? This and our Knicks and, of course, Jalen Brunson. Um, You know, it, 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 it's funny, man, because, you know, for these guys that have went to school for this, been doing these jobs for 30, 40 years, claim to, you know, be the best at their, their craft, sometimes they just sound and look so silly. So I'm just trying to figure out what was his reason for Brunson not being a superstar? Yeah. But but because he wasn't a high draft pick, I don't because he was a role player before. I don't like what I don't I don't get it. So for me, it's like, and by the way, up until maybe a year or so ago, Trey Young was a superstar. What is these guys talking about? Right now, Jalen Brunson has the Knicks. One of the most exciting teams in the world. He has people actually discussing and talking about the Knicks. Everywhere he goes, there's MVP chance 
at away games. Jalen Brunson for the season, if I'm not mistaken, damn the average 30? 27. 27. In the playoffs, he's averaging 30 plus. I, I, just, I don't get it. I don't get it. What makes what makes Ant-Man a superstar and Jalen Brunson not? Yo, man, listen, the hate is for real. The hate is for real. The hate. Dallas Mavericks didn't know what they had. Is that Jalen Brunson's fault? Because I, it's obvious when they put him in the game, when Luka got hurt, holy. Yeah, this is what y'all had on the sideline all that time. You know that happens in sports. Every day. And then let me ask you this. Can you start somewhere and work hard and turn into a superstar? Because I'm just trying to fathom, do you have to be a superstar out the gate or can you build up to a superstar? Nobody's saying Brunson was a superstar two, three, four years ago. But this year, that man is a superstar. I'm pretty sure his jersey sales is up. The garden is jam-packed for one reason and one reason only. The opposing team's arenas are packed for one reason and one reason only. Knicks fans are traveling all over the world because of one man. What else do we need to see? Then when they say, okay, forget the regular season, let's see what happens in the playoffs. He does it in the playoffs. So I'm, I'm, I'm just like, what more do y'all want to see? What is the criteria to becoming a, to, to being a superstar? So, so are y'all going to tell me LeBron, KD, Giannis, uh, Curry, Joker, those are still the only superstars? Because if because if 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 Ant Man and SGA are superstars now, how is Brunson not? He's averaging just as much, got his team in the second seed. Now, when you turn on ESP and Fox Sports, all these networks, social media, everywhere, Brunson is being talked about. So, Chris Broussard, you yelling and you could sound like you know what you're talking about. You could yell. That don't mean you're right. You look like an idiot, to be honest with you, <laughs> because you're trying to force your opinion. Bro, you wrong. You wrong. This Listen, what Charles Oakley said it. So we're not going to respect Charles Oakley. We're not going to respect Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley said, quote, Jalen Brunson is the second greatest Nick all time after Clyde Frazier. And he said, yeah, I know y'all going to talk about Pat and Oakley. They wasn't this. Oak, who played for the Knicks 10 years, played with them guys, Pat. We're not going to respect his word? How he not better than Melo already as a Nick? How? Melo ain't do this. Are you kidding me? We have an opportunity to go to the finals. This man gives us hope. Y'all heard what Oakley said about Pat. And Pat, I love Pat. Probably the greatest nigga of all time. But like I always say, the movie Titanic, a lot of them dudes is hanging on that wood. Because if this young man retires as a nigga and he does this for the next two to five years, oh, yeah, he's a greater nigga than Patrick Ewan. I'm saying it. Argue with Charles Oakley. I'm not arguing with nobody that's been there, that's done that, that experienced it, and knows it. Oakley knows the New York Knicks organization and fan base in and out. And what he's saying is what we've been saying. I ain't never seen this before. The way he's galvanizing the troops and leading this organization and this team. Look at the roster. Look at the roster. Now, if he was doing this and everybody was healthy, then okay. Bro, he doesn't have his second best player all season. Mitchell Robinson and OG was hobbled and ended up the lineup for games. So once again, when we get to the conference finals, what's going to be the excuse? We got to get to the finals. They keep moving the goalposts. But if this was John ja Morant, if Steph Curry was... These are the same guys that say, as long as you got Steph Curry on the court, you got a chance. Right. To not make the playoffs. <laughs> Come on, bro. Cut it out. That's what I'm saying. Is LeBron James still a superstar on the basketball court? Or are we still thinking about LeBron James, the mega superstar? Because if we talk about on the basketball court, 
He's home. He's home. Yo, man, yeah, listen. It's how did Chris Broussard, who are you to tell us to calm down? Who are you to tell us to what do you mean New York magnifies everything? No, he's doing the damn thing. No matter how you you can't magnify this no much more. He's putting up the numbers. What are we magnifying? He's putting up 40. He's beating teams that y'all are giving him no chance to beat. Same thing last year against Cleveland. Nobody gave the Knicks a chance but us real Knicks fans, and we blew them off the floor. What's going to happen when we blow Indian off the floor and he outplays, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, your favorite player, Halliburton? What y'all going to say then? Well, nah, man, get out of here, man. That whole panel was bozos. That's why they asses <laughs> is on late. And nobody even watched that shit. Excuse my language. I'm sick of all <laughs> these guys, man, for real, man, because they try to throw darts at people. And I don't like how he tried to throw a dart at Isaiah Thomas. Not the legend, the other Isaiah Thomas. What was all that for? What do you, what do you us, how do you say? None of us could do what Isaiah Thomas did. So who are you to, nah, come on, bro. Come on, brother. The hate for the Knicks is for real. And we here to cut it short. It's over. We got a superstar like everybody else. We got a guy giving 30, 40 balls like everybody else. This ain't no main, no nothing magnified. He putting in the work. How you magnify a two seed? <laughs> How you magnify we beat Philly in six? He had 340 balls. What, what, magnify what? Come on, bro. Totally wrong. And, and, and it's laughable. Y'all don't know who Rick Brunson is. Shut up. Y'all tried to laugh it off like y'all don't y'all don't know the history of the game. Get out of here, man. Especially Nick Wright. That whole panel was garbage. Let's be realistic. Garbage. I'm just I'm just shocked that Chris Bruce or I don't ever want to hear him talk about Stephen A. Smith again. Or anybody like that, because all you're doing is the same thing. You use the Nick hate. He usually be yourself. fair. And he had like, I remember he had Jim, he had his own podcast and it was dope. Jimmy Jim Jackson was on it. It was like, but he can't, he knows he can't do that. He should have stuck with the odd couple and got more guests on there because this four o'clock show, by the way, it is, it is, it's, it's beating out Skip Bayless and them, and it is doing their thing. A lot of people like this show compared to everything else. But I'm just, I'm just surprised you sitting there, bro. He's a second round pick. You know who else is a second round pick? The guy who's a, been an MVP two times, and it should have been three, and it should be four in a row. <laughs> the Joker, exactly. second round pick. He didn't come out. Shoot out the uh, uh, uh the star lineup, star and become a superstar. That didn't happen with the Joker. That happened three or four years in. So very similar to Jalen Brunson. Remember, Brunson was hurt in the bubble. Like the fact that again in the first round with the Mavericks against the Jazz, he carried them. He carried them without Luka Doncic, without his superstar. Sounds very familiar to today. Julius Randle's missing. All the guys were missing. All these guys are hobbling, and he still won the first round. They're not even there. At least Lucas showed up for the first or second or, or, or last game of that of that series. It's Gilbert Arenas, second round pick. You guys lauded him as as a superstar because he scored sixty on, on on Kobe. Where was his? Where is his famous uh, playoff appearances or playoff wins? If anything, he folded against LeBron James and the other superstars, and he gets to talk a lot of trash. And you guys love him because. He's uh he's viral or whatever it is. I just I'm surprised and they rely on this this media on, on on the on the big name still and they act like they don't. And they don't have Disney behind them, but at this point it's it's nauseating. We know the game already. You guys are just saying this, you're picking against the Knicks, you're picking against Brunson because it drives it drives your your marketing dollars up without even trying. It, it, it allows us to make something some some views too, which is cool with me. But at the same time, you want to hit this too. You're right behind Becky Hammond. Get in line, bro. You sound like an and you sound like a moron. Like, how can you not? Dennis Rodman was a second round draft pick. Dr Draymond Green. We all have our opinions about him, but it was five to seven years defensive player of the year candidate or just a top guy. Defensive player of the year, like top dude. He's part of a uh, and he's considered a superstar. He sells tickets. Like, what are we talking about? He's impactful. 
Not to say that he was by himself when he did it, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure y'all give Draymond Green his props with no problem. With no problem. Good point. Good point. So, with Jalen Brunson, and it's not just one playoff run. That's the really the bottom line to all that. That's not just one playoff run. It's three years in a row where he's gotten out of the first round. When was the last time he, he left the playoffs in the first round? When did he exit? And again, he shared lead duties with the other superstar guy you guys keep saying is five, top five, top ten. Left him and still became a top five player. He still became a top five guy in people's M and MVP ballots by leaving another MVP guy. When has that happened? Kyrie ain't do that. Kyrie ain't do that. Who's the other guys? Name them. Name them. Scotty Pippen ain't do that. Come on, man. Like, we could go down the list. Who left the MVP sidekick and became an MVP caliber guy themselves? What other player has left an MVP caliber player and became an MVP caliber guy themselves? Kyrie didn't do it. Scotty Pippen ain't do it. Who's left and became... LeBron left, I guess, D-Way, but he was already an MVP. Nobody does that. KD, Nobody. It's right, a good point. KD left, didn't become. Only, only Kobe got Shaq traded and said, yo, I'm an MVP too. But hold on. I'm not going to lie. When KD left OKC, he went to Golden State and was a better basketball player. I'm not going to lie. He was an MVP already. What I'm saying is uh, Golden State inherited an MVP. Jalen Brunson became an MVP caliber player. By leaving an MVP ca dude, caliber dude, that everybody yeah. overall can say, this has never happened before, ever, and he's not getting the credit for it. Oh, oh, boy, oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.